Hey guys, here's a quick video to show how you can create graphics for your Canvas course. For this example, I used Canva for the header and Google Draw for the buttons. The nice part about Canva is it's basically like paint by numbers where you can choose one of their templates and then customize it however you'd like. Where Google Draw is more of a blank slate that you sort of have to have an idea of what you want when you go in because you're going to be designing it from scratch. So I am going to focus on Canva for this video tutorial. So I'm going to hop on over to Canva, which is so awesome because it is free. So you just have to create an account. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on create a design and then custom dimensions. I'm going to hop over to my handy dandy cheat sheet. I really like to use this thin rectangle for headers. So it's 750 by 100. And then I'm going to click create new design. From here, Canva is going to give me a whole bunch of templates to choose from. And once I've found a design that I like, I can click on it and then very easily customize that template however I would like. I can change font sizes, change the font, really do whatever I want to that design. Once I am complete, I can then go ahead and click on download. And you want to download it as a PNG. And then that will go into my downloads folder. Now I am ready to bring that into Canvas. So I'm going to hop back over to my Canvas course, click on Pages, and then View All Pages. And I'm going to make a new page. I am using the uh, new Rich Content Editor, so if you are still using the old one, yours might look a bit different. From here, I'm going to click on the Image, Upload Image, and I'm going to drag and drop that image from Canva to my canvas and then click submit it's going to come in itty bitty so i'm going to go ahead and click on it and then choose options and i'm going to go ahead and choose custom and make that that oops make that that 750 by 100 size and i am also then going to center it so now I am ready for my buttons. So I'm going to hop back over to Canva. I am going to do a new design. And this time I am going to use this rectangular button size, the 225 by 75. Oops. And then click Create New Design. Again, Canva is going to give me a whole bunch of options to choose from from templates or for this, I am actually going to go ahead and add a background color that is going to match my other design. I love using this Colorzilla add-on for Chrome because I am now able to match this pink color by adding that hex code from Colorzilla. So now I've got this wonderful pink background that matches my header. And then I can go in here and add text. that also match my header font. I'm going to make it really big. Ooh, too big. <laughs> and then I can move this onto that. And what's nice is I can very easily duplicate this button and then just change out the text. Once I've made all my buttons, I can go ahead and click download. Again, I want it to be a PNG and I will download those buttons. It will download as a zip file if you have more than one graphic. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And now I am ready to go back into Canvas and add in my buttons. The same way I added in the header button, or the header. And now I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five and add in my next image. Obviously I could add lots more buttons if I wanted to, but I'll just stick with these two for now. Now, right now, these buttons are just images. They don't actually go anywhere. So I wanna go ahead and click on this, and then I'm gonna click on the link and choose course links. And then I have already created a page called parent info. And then I'm going to do the same thing for links. I obviously could do external links here as well, but I'm linking these all within my Canvas course. 
and now I can click Save. And now I have a header, and I can use these images now as buttons that will take me to my Canvas pages. Obviously, I've got a little more work to do on that page to make it a little more visually appealing. I would obviously add some text and possibly some other buttons. Probably go back in and change that font color to white to match my header. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how you could use Canva and bring it into Canvas to be able to make some graphics for your courses. Hope this helps.